Oh, hi, everybody. I'm just practicing my skills as a reporter. Yeah, you may not know this, but a long time ago, when I was just finished school, I worked as a reporter at a radio station and then at our community television station. It was lots of fun, and it was the perfect job for me because do you know what reporters do? They ask questions, right? They ask a lot of questions. And I'm so curious about everything all the time. I love asking questions. Now, a good reporter knows there are a certain number of questions you have to ask. You can ask all sorts of other questions too to help build up your story. But there are some questions that you have to ask before you file your story, or it just isn't good enough. Those questions, who, what, where, when, why, and sometimes how. Every story has to be able to answer those questions. It's interesting because today our Bible story is from the book of Psalms, the very last Psalm in the book, number 150. And do you know what I figured out? I believe the person who wrote that Psalm was a reporter. It's true. Do you know how I know? Because he answered every single one of these questions. And it helps us to better read the psalm and understand it. Do you want to know what I mean? I'll show you. Psalm 150 is pretty short, so I'm just going to read the whole thing to you. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, it may seem obvious, reading that psalm, that we're supposed to praise the Lord, but the psalmist went even further because he answered all of the reporter's questions. Let's look at it. The first thing, where? Where do we praise the Lord? Well, it says, praise him in his sanctuary. Now, that doesn't mean our sanctuary. It doesn't mean at the corner of Parkdale and Gladstone in Parkdale United Church. It means God's sanctuary in his heavens. It's great to praise him in our sanctuary too, but it goes beyond that. We have to praise him everywhere, all the time. You know, God is wherever we are, so we don't have to wait to think of God being in his heavens. We just praise him wherever we are. Okay, good. That's the where. Why? Why would we praise God? Well, it says, praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Well, that's easy to do. But I think the psalmist is telling us we need to be mindful. We need to think about the amazing things God has done. Why, the fact that you and I are here on this earth is pretty amazing. It's a miracle. Just a bunch of cells joined together and this amazing person was born. You were born. Well, that's pretty amazing. And if we look around our big wide world, why, looking out my window right now, I see blue skies. I see trees blowing in the wind. I see green grass and flowers. There are so many amazing things in our world, aren't they? And God created them all. Well, obviously, we should say thank you for that and praise him for all the amazing things he does. Okay, good. So that's the why. Now, how? Hmm. Well, the psalmist gets pretty particular here. He starts talking about praising God with the sound of the trumpet and with a harp and a lyre and with a timbrel and strings and cymbals. Well, You'll remember, months ago, we had our own band, didn't we? We had guitars and all sorts of instruments. So every instrument that we play is praising God. But, you know, I'm not very good with instruments. Does that leave me out? 
No way. It doesn't leave you out either. I think what the psalmist is saying, he gives all those examples of instruments, every instrument ever created, because he's saying we're all in this together. We're all very inclusive. We're all included in the praising of God. And they've listed them in order, but it doesn't really matter what instrument comes first or second or last. And it doesn't matter which one of us comes first or second or last. We're all called to be the children of God, and we can all praise him with whatever we have. Maybe it's playing an instrument. Maybe it's using the instrument that is our voice. Maybe you can sing really well. I can't. But anyway, we all have ways that we can praise God. So that's the how. Now, who? Well, it's obvious that we're praising God, but who's going to praise God? Right, me, you. In fact, listen to what the psalmist says. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Well, that's the thing about being alive, is we're breathing. So the psalmist is pretty clear. Everybody is included. Everybody can and should praise God. So don't think you're alone. We're all in this together. And when? All the time, my friends. All the time. Psalm 150 is very clear. And the psalmist has answered all the reporter questions. We now know exactly what to do and when to do it. Let's go out there. Let's praise the Lord. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.